In this video, I want to look at stem and leaf diagrams. So we're going to go straight from this raw data to drawing a stem and leaf diagram. So how this works is that you set up the data into, well, in this case, you would put it into tens. Okay, so we've got um, zero to nine, for example, and then we've got 10 to 19, and then we've got 20 to 29, and then we've got this 42 left stuck on the end. Okay, so you would have the single units. Okay, we're going to represent them with zeros. And then we're going to have the tens and the twenties and the thirties and the forties. Okay, and this is going to be my stem. And from this, there are going to be leaves. So for the zeros, I've got two and five, and I would write them in order like that. And then for the tens, I've got 11, 17, and 17. I don't write down the uh, tens unit, because the tens unit is the tens uh, place is already there. So I just write down the one, the seven, and the seven, okay? For 11, 17, and 17. For the twenties, I've got 20, 28, 28, and 28. And then for the 30s, well, I don't have any of those. Uh, but for the 40s, I've got 42. Okay. And then from this, um, you can be asked things like a uh, median. You could be asked for the lower quartile, the upper quartile. You could be asked for the range. Okay. So if I was asked for the median, for example, then what you would usually do uh, is cross them off from either end. So you cross off the lower and the upper, uh, or the least and the largest values. The least value, the next largest, the next least, the next largest, the next least, the next largest. And then we can see that we're between the 17 and 20. So 17 plus 20 over 2, well, that's 18.5. Okay, so 18.5 is the median. Most common error with the range is to look for the largest value and think that that's 8, and then subtract it, subtract the lowest value, which people then think is 0, and you just get 8. Remember that the largest value is 42, the least value is 2, and so the range is actually 40. Okay, so... Stem and leaf diagrams look like this. You can be asked for the mean and the range. The only thing that you might be shouting at me and going, Jack, you've forgotten a key aspect, is the key. Okay? So with each of these, and in truth, I did forget it. So yes, here's the key. Okay? And every stem and leaf diagram should come with a key because ultimately this stem and leaf diagram could represent... Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1.1, 1.7, or something other than that, okay? So the key is essential in understanding what this represents. And you can just choose uh, any old value. So I could choose that for line two. And what does this mean? It represents 42 rather than 4.2, for example, okay? So the key is important in making sure um, that you that the examiner knows what you're talking about, essentially. Um, and I mean, if you were going to use this um, outside of uh, the exam room, then the key really needs to be clearly put. Otherwise, this could represent anything. 